Okay, in this video, I would like to introduce the Stata command called CLAPS that can help you to convert your individual level data set into a data set of some summer statistics. Okay. So it's quite useful. So this command will convert data into a data set that has of the summer statistics such as summer sum over specific variable or the average of some variable or the median of that variable. So there are a lot of options that can that you create such variable. And it's especially useful uh, if you want to create an aggregate level data set from individual level or firm level or household level. So for example, uh, you can just open the do file called C5, create sample part 2, and uh, open our original data set. So original data set is uh, individual level data. Okay. So each sample represents one individual. So it's 60,000 individuals. And maybe we want to change this data set to some state level, state by year level. And we want to just calculate the average wage of for each state uh, in each year. And maybe we want to use that to draw some graph. Okay, so in that case, we might need to use the CLAPS command. So you can do that by say claps, type claps, and type the option, the summary statistics you want to create. For example, you want to just create a, a, a variable is the average of this variable, is the wage variable. So you want to create average wage and by state and year level. So now, so if you do that, you will class all the individual level data just by according to this variable and this variable the state where they live and where, in which year okay and it will create the state and years average wage okay so if you do that then you can generate create a new data set like this you implement it will become some the state for example Illinois 2015 the average wage is this number Pennsylvania 2015 average wage is this number and this is from the original individual level data to this uh, state year level become this state year level data so you can do this change for example you just want to create the maximum wage in each state and year and you can generate a new variable called max wage if you want to do that you can just type the new variable and from from this original variable so that will create a new variable called list and it's just take the maximum of the this variable based on the state and year okay so max is just another option you can you can do okay. so you can see what i mean is if you do not say any change change the new variable you, you will just use the original variable the wage but now you want to create a new variable you want to create a new variable it's called maximum wage max wage and this is from this variable so from this variable based on there's uh, the, the individual in which state and year they will just take the, the maximum of this variable by state and year so if you implement it will generate the the thing like this but it's new variable I'll create a new variable and they just take the the highest value of that in each state and year and you can see it's all 99999 okay. 
that's the highest number. And also you can use another option it's called sum that's just sum over you generate a new variable called num number number one. So if you do that you can generate a new variable. This is just a new variable num and it's one 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 one. And if maybe you want to calculate a sample size for each state and at each in each year you you can do this and using the sum this another uh, option and you generate a new variable called sample size and it's from here they sum over this variable by state and year and you will generate a new variable called sample size so if you do that they will look like this so you will compute for from pure sample size for each state and year because you just sum over the num this variable and num is just one for each individual so if you sum over that it just calculate help you to count the sample size for each state and year So this is just the, the thing we just mentioned. And if sometimes if your data set is too big, it will become very slow. So you can just add the fast option. And if you add this, the data will not restore original data set. So it will go faster. So sometimes you can just uh, put this and it will become faster, especially if you have very large data set. So that's all for the class.